Well, certainly I saw this global financial crisis coming because there was too much debt leverage risk-taking in many economies from the U.S. to Europe. I thought it would be very severe. I said it would be the worst financial crisis in a long time. Now there is a recovery, but there are also serious uh, downside risks for the global economy next year. In a worse scenario, you could have the Eurozone crisis getting worse. You could get a severe fiscal cliff in the U.S. You could have a hard landing of China. You could have a war in the Middle East that increases all prices. That will be a global perfect storm. Hopefully, that downside scenario can be avoided and a baseline scenario will be milder than that severe return to another economic recession and financial crisis. But certainly, there are risks out there. Certainly, Europe needs uh, austerity to make that sustainable in its structural reforms to increase uh, growth and productivity growth. Those things are necessary, but Europe is thinking not enough about restoring jobs, restoring income, restoring economic growth. So I think that what the Europe needs to think about is a plan that restores growth and that requires slowing down some of the fiscal austerity, having a stimulus in country like Germany can afford it, having easier monetary policy by the European Central Bank and having a gradual depreciation of the value of the euro that will restore the growth and competitiveness of the periphery. So we need to policies that change not just the aggregate supply on the supply side, but also increase aggregate demand to restore economic growth and job creation. Uh, Spain is moving in the dire right direction. Uh, they are cleaning up the banks. That's necessary. Uh, they're doing fiscal austerity. That's necessary. They're doing the structural reforms. I would say that the pace of this thing has been a bit spotty. Uh, some of the structural reforms like on the labor market and things that increase competitiveness have to be accelerated. On the fiscal side instead I believe that the amount of austerity has been excessive and that uh, there has to be less front-loaded fiscal austerity otherwise the recession is going to get worse. And on the banks, I think that this is the time to really recapitalize the banks fast enough so they can start having enough capital to restore credit growth that the private sector needs to generate capital spending, job creation, and more economic activity. So the pace of these reforms is not occurring in the right speed, even if the direction on all these dimensions is the right direction. The Eurozone right now is at a fork in the road. The current muddled through approach of kicking the can down the road is not a stable equilibrium, it's an unstable disequilibrium. Either the Europeans are going to move forward in direction of more union and more integration. A banking union, a fiscal union, an economic union, and also a political union to make this loss of national sovereignty democratically legitimate. So either you move forward or otherwise you're going to move in the direction of disunion, disintegration, fragmentation, balkanization, with more countries getting in trouble, more countries needing that restructuring, and starting with Greece, you could have one or more members of the Eurozone exiting the Eurozone, and that could snowball eventually in the next few years in the direction of a full breakup. So if you want to avoid the breakup, you have to move forward in the direction of more union, more integration. You cannot just continue with the current muddle through, kicking the can road approach. That's not going to work.